All right, this is the Michael Myers fanatic back with another movie review. I know I said I was going to do Leprechaun, but I decided to do this movie because it's very interesting. This movie is called Premonition, and it premiered on March 16, 2007. It stars Julian McMahon as James Hansen and Sandra Bullock as Linda Hansen. And this movie is basically about a wife that keeps having premonitions of her husband's impending death. This movie is so fucking confusing. You have to really pay attention to this shit. It's confusing as hell. But basically, she's stuck in a time loop where the time keeps resetting itself. One day, she wakes up and he's dead. The next day, she wakes up and he's alive. And she has to stop his death. The movie opens up with Jim and Linda standing next to a house. And I could tell that this was a dream sequence. Because when the movie came on, it was in black and white. And it looked all dreamlike. I said, okay, this is obviously a dream sequence that I'm watching. The movie was written by Bill Kelly. That dude can write a movie. Because, I mean, this movie had Twilight Zone... I'm not going to say beat, but it at least gave it a run for its money. But anyway, the movie opens up with James and Linda standing next to a house. And James says, surprise, I got you a house. Well, he doesn't say it like that, but he says, it's a house. And she say, well, whose house is it? And he's basically saying, well, whose do you think? And she's like, I don't know whose. And, it, you know, this part is really annoying. If you're standing in front of the house, it's obviously your house. But anyway, so basically she wakes up from the dream. And the, the kids come in, Megan and Bridget. And they are played by... Courtney Taylor, Burness, and Cheyenne McClure. But anyway, they come in the room and they're hugging their mom and stuff like that. So she goes downstairs and she gets a knock at the door. And the police officer tells her that her husband is dead. So she's crying and everything. The family comes over and they arrange the funeral and shit like that. They wake up the next day and Jim is alive again. This movie is really hard to follow if you don't pay attention. And now that I paid attention to this movie, I understand it a little bit better. Let me explain to you guys what's going on with her because I can't spend all day on this review. Basically, she lost her faith in God. So I guess like this is his way of trying to restore her faith by making her relive her husband's death all over again. I don't know how that's going to help, but that's basically what this movie's trying to say is that when you lose faith a higher power takes over your life and runs your life for you so that's what's going on here she lost her faith and now she's gotta try to stop her husband from being killed and basically what this is is she's seeing the future and the priest basically explains to her that this happened to two other people before. Apparently this woman was having premonitions of a hurricane. And she tried to tell the townspeople and they hung her for being a witch. And she said she actually saw the hurricane before it happened. And she experienced it before everybody else. And they hung her for being a witch. 
And then something happened in Boston where a guy had a premonition about the flu. And he had this premonition that his sons was going to get the flu. So he shot them both. And then he found out that they really didn't have the flu. And then he shot himself. And Father Kennedy, who is the priest, is telling her all these things. And he's played by Jude Chickalella or whatever. The film also stars Nia Long as Annie, Linda's best friend. So I'll explain it to you one more time. Linda is basically seeing the future as she has to stop his death before it happens because she lost faith so now this force is taking over her life and making her go through this time loop or whatever so at the end of the movie I might as well not go through the whole thing because it just keeps starting over but only she'll see things and she have to figure out why she saw them like there's a scene where she sees this woman at her husband's funeral this mysterious woman and she figures out that that's because that's the woman that her husband was going to have an affair with and then there's a scene where she sees cuts all over her daughter Bridget's face and she figures out that that's because Bridget was running and she ran through the glass door and cut her face up so basically her job is to stop bad things that happen in the future that's what this is about it's just really confusing unless you pay attention to it and i'll go over it with you one more time she lost her spirituality so this force or whatever you want to call it or god or whatever you want to call it took over her life and made her go through this time loop or whatever it is to restore her faith to let her know to have faith in things again if she wants her husband Jim to live she has to have faith that he's going to live and I definitely wouldn't speak against God obviously but against the plot of this movie that just seemed really cruel I can't imagine seeing my loved one die over and over and over again. I really enjoyed the movie, don't get me wrong, but that just seemed especially cruel. I, I didn't really like that aspect of the plot, but in a way I guess I can say I did like it because I'm into weird shit like time travel and time loops and going back in time and alternate realities you know that's my kind of thing so that's why I like this movie so much but the one thing I want to remind you guys of is this this is just the movie that I'm talking about what you are living in right now is real life so if you're holding a grudge against somebody and the grudge is not for anything serious you really should forgive them because you don't know how much time you have left or how much time they have left and unlike the movie once they die they don't get a do-over or vice versa once you die you don't get a do-over and with that being said I'm the Michael Myers fanatic and I approve this message this has been premonition from March 16th of 2007